Hi crafters, Amy here, and my offering today is a pet sympathy card idea. Now, if you don't need a sympathy card or don't want to make a sad card, these stencils will work great for just pet lovers or dog lover cards as well. So here I'm just flipping through one of my massive three ring binders of stencils from A Colorful Life Designs. I have amassed quite a collection, um, but I'm looking for one in particular. It's called Puppy Pals, and it is adorable. Uh, it's an older stencil, but I kind of recently acquired it, and I wanted to play with it some more um, to show you guys how awesome this, stamps, or this stencil is. So here's a photo of the card that I'm going to make for you today. Um, it's got a sweet little black lab on it, but I'm going to be using this simple grid stencil, and then you can see here this Puppy Pals stencil. Now as you can see, there's two adorable sweet little puppy heads, and then also the masking portions. So that's what makes this this stencil so cool. Um, if you aren't familiar with A Colorful Life Designs, Mary Kay will often include um, the masking bits of stencils if it's doable. So it just adds to the versatility of these stencils and all the different ways that you can use them. So as you saw in the photo, I'm just using the larger of the little pupper schnoodle heads in this particular card, but I will show you some other examples of cards that I made um, with this versatile stencil at the end. So stick around and I'll show you those. But I'm gonna use some post-it tape here just to kind of mask off the little puppy's head. And then I'm going to do some very simple ink blending onto this cardstock. Now this is a colored cardstock. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like a sand color. I don't even know the brand. It's just a lightweight, inexpensive cardstock. I probably got it from uh, one of the big box craft stores. So just use whatever you have in your stash, um, a nice, a uh, craft color would be really pretty for this as well, but I knew that I wanted to make it like a black lab and I didn't want it to be too stark on the white cardstock. So that's why I opted to use a colored cardstock and I'm going to use my uh, black soot distress ink. This is a mini ink cube. So this is how I store my little mini distress inks. It just works storage wise for me and I don't collect um, the full size pads of the distress inks. For those, I just have the minis. And I grabbed this teal color as well, which I'm going to use with the other stencil. So I just recently got this Positively Everything tool from Simon Says Stamp. So I'm just going to use that to kind of hold my um, ink pad in place while I do some very simple blending. Um, I'm just using this one color, the black soot, just to kind of go around the edges of this opening. And you'll see I have it lined up right to the very edge of the opening. It kind of looks like it's coming right off of the edge of the composition, which is such a cool artistic look. So you could uh, absolutely flip um, the stencil over and have the dog oriented the other direction um, and absolutely use the other little puppy as well, which you'll see on the other examples in a bit. But I'm basically just kind of going um, heavier handed in spots just to kind of give it a little bit of um, dimension and so it's darker in spots, lighter in others, but ultimately I wanted it to look kind of like a, a black lab or a retriever sort of dog because that's what this kind of looks like to me. So I'm just doing some blending here. I have it sped up a little bit, but I'm just going to pull back the magnets and the stencil here to show you this adorable little silhouette. Such a sweet puppy. But what's really cool is the next step, once I'm done struggling with this post-it tape, I forgot how stuck down that was on the cardstock. So be careful not to rip it. Thankfully I didn't. But now I'm gonna take the inner portion and I'm gonna mask off the dog. Now, if you don't mind the texture of the next stencil on top of it, then you don't need to cover it. But I think it's so cool to just have that nice, um, clearly defined silhouette of the little puppy head just by using this simple masking option. So that's what's so cool about having the inner and outer portions of these stencils is just how versatile it can be in terms of creating a background um, without it covering up where you already ink blended. So I'm just using the magnets to hold down. Now I have this simple grid on top of 
the masked off puppy head and now I'm coming in with this teal color. I believe it's peacock feathers. But I'm just doing some blending and you can see I kind of created a little bit of a border um, with the edge of that stencil. So I'm kind of creating um, a border right on that panel, but this panel itself is going to end up being smaller than the A2 size card base. So there'll be a little bit of a border um, from the panel around on the outside of the the card base as well. So again, going heavier handed, lighter handed in spots, just to kind of give some variation in color. And then I'm gonna pull back both stencils and wowza, isn't that so cool? So you can see the stencil grid does not overlap because I had that little puppy masked off. And now I'm just using some tape runner and I'm going to attach this lightweight cardstock right onto the card base. This is an A2 size card base. It's already cut, folded, and ready to go. And it's a 110 pound Nina Classic Crest Solar White. So it kind of gives a nice crisp small edge or border rather around that um, colored stenciled panel that we made. So I'm just attaching this down here. And I did cut that panel out um, with a stitched edge rectangle die. So I don't know if I mentioned that earlier in the video, but that does give it a nice little finished look. So here I'm going to use this stamp set from scrapbook.com. Um, this is unfortunately a well-loved stamp set. I've had to use it to make many a sympathy cards um, for people who have lost their beloved furry family members. So lots of really cool um, heartfelt options to choose from and I will link that as well in the video description box below with the other products that I used. But I chose one and fit it in that kind of open space in the top right on the card and I'm just going to do some simple stamping with this um, in my VersaFine Claire Nocturne. This is a nice rich black pigment ink. I'm just going to stamp it a couple times down and that's the beauty of the Misty. It kind of keeps it in the same place so you can stamp it as many times as you need to. But that is basically going to finish this card. Now stick around here. I'll show you some other options with this awesome stencil. So these are cards that I had made previously when I first got the stencil because I was so excited. I had to jump right in. So here you can see I used both both the images on the stencil to create these little cute chocolate labs or whatever they might be. And it says, love is a four-legged word. That's another uh, stamp from that set. This one, no greater companion, no better friend. I'm sorry for your loss. So this one, you can see I use the inner portion of the stencil and then ink blended off of it to kind of create a reverse look. And then again here, I just did very similar to what you saw today, um, but did the stamping in the lower right. So extremely versatile, super fun stencil. I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to check out the rest of the stencils at the shop. There's so many to choose from. And don't forget my coupon code AMYFAN10 to save on your complete order if you shop. So thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.